future? Oh, we don't know at the moment, but Pedro, William uh, and uh, Giroud uh, are doing better. Yesterday we had a training uh, with the teammates, with the group. I don't know if uh, they will be able to, to play tomorrow, maybe not for 90 minutes. Uh, Loftus, uh, of course, is out now. Uh, we need to understand very well the, the, the situation with the, his back, uh, because in the last uh, in the last month uh, he was in trouble. Sesk, uh, no, uh, I have no news about uh, about Sesk. He, I don't know if. Uh, he is able to play tomorrow because uh, in the last match, in the last 10 minutes, uh, he had uh, a, a cramp in the calf, and so he, he was uh, a little bit. Uh, he needs uh, to, to, to rest, I think, but uh, I don't know the situation. Uh, we are able to, to see the, today's training and uh, the training uh, tomorrow morning. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Yesterday, he he had uh, a free day for the for the injury. I don't know. Are you hopeful of keeping him? But I I can say only my opinion. I don't know the the decision of the of the club, of course. Uh, in my opinion, uh, he needs to go. You know very well the situation, you know very well that in this club uh, there is a rule. Uh, the renew for the players uh, over 30 is uh, for usually for one year. He has an offer for three years. And uh, I don't want uh, a, a, a very important player uh, as uh, Sesk uh, not happy. But uh, this is only my opinion, um, then it depends on the club. How are you? Where did you go in the last uh, two weeks? You. Ah, Barella. Barella. I, I don't want to speak about uh, players or of other teams, of course. Uh, if Sesk uh, will go, of course uh, we need uh, we need a replacement. Uh, but, uh, uh, now with the midfielders, we are in trouble, I think, because. Uh, I don't know at the moment the situation of uh, Loftus, uh, if uh, uh, the situation is uh, serious or not. Uh, without Sesk, uh, we are only in five, uh, so we are, uh, uh, we are in trouble. Uh, we need a replacement, of course. And Gary Cahill, he wasn't good in the, in the FA Cup squad at the weekend. Did you take well, him on? No, no, at the moment, because I want to... to to understand uh, the situation, uh, if the, uh, he wants to 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 go or not, and so at the moment I think that uh, his mind uh, is not completely involved, but uh, in our situation, so we need uh, to to wait. But uh, for Kail, uh, the the situation I think is different because uh, we have Ampadu, and so we don't need uh, a replacement. I know only that uh, for me he's a very important player. Uh, he's very young, but uh, uh, now he's uh, improving. He's improving, especially in the defensive phase. I think he played uh, really very, very well in the last match. Uh, he was in trouble in, uh, in the match in uh, Watford, but uh, only because uh, we had. Uh, a problem uh, in his uh, hamstring, but uh, he is improving, and I'm really very happy with him. And 
I don't know the situation with the with the club, but uh, for me, is an important player. Would moving to Germany be a good career move? I don't think so. Why not? Because uh, he is an English player. He's a uh, very young. He has the future. And I think that uh, he has a very great future here in England with the national team and with the national team and uh, with Chelsea, I think. I think that uh, to stay here is better for him. Okay. John. Have you spoken to him and, and said that to him? How he did that you, do you see him on the cross? No, because I am not in charge for, for these questions and uh, I don't want to speak uh, to a player about something that uh, it doesn't depend on me. Are you happy with that, though, that you, you don't have any say on that? Yes, I want to, to speak to, to him uh, only about the pitch, about movements, uh, about the defensive phase. And I am really very happy because uh, he is improving the defensive phase uh, uh, in a very important way in the, last, uh, in the last month. Is it important for you to see players come through the ranks and come through the academy and play in the first team? Or is that, again, not your responsibility? But first of all, I, I want good players, uh, but uh, we are lucky because uh, our academy is very, very good. And uh, I think it's important because uh, if you have uh, five, six uh, players from the academy, you can have uh, a soul uh, more than uh, with uh, 25 uh, foreign players. Oh, I think that uh, it's more important to score than uh, to celebrate. Uh, he scored uh, two goals in the last match. In the season, uh, he scored uh, nine goals. In your best, uh, in uh, his best uh, season uh, in Real Madrid, uh, he scored uh, 20 goals. So I think that uh, if uh, he will be able to, to have uh, a very good second part of the season, uh, he will try to reach his best. He's happy though, is he here? I don't know. Uh, I hope so, but I don't know. Okay, Liam and then Martin. Mauricio, a couple of months ago you suggested that you didn't think Callum was ready to play in the Premier League necessarily, but <coughs> with the improvement we've seen from him, are you ready to use him in, in bigger games now? I think so. Uh, he, uh, he's ready, I think. Uh, of course, uh, we have uh, uh, very important players in the same position, uh, so uh, you want William on, on the bench, I think. <laughs> no, <laughs> Pedro. Uh, I can play with only two wingers, I think. Three is difficult, <laughs> but uh, I think now he is ready. He is ready, he can play, of course, sometime he will be on the bench, but uh, as uh, William, as Pedro, I think that now I can start to consider him uh, at the same level. OK, last two, Martin and then Matt. Uh, Mauricio, what lessons have you learned from the game against Tottenham in November at Wembley? That, uh, that uh, first of all, that uh, uh, we need uh, to to approach the match uh, in another way, I think, because we lost the match in the first 15 minutes. So we need uh, to approach the match uh, in another way because they, they were uh, really more aggressive than us, more determined than us. And so now we know very well that uh, if the approach is the same, uh, there is no solution for us. Um, I want to speak uh, uh, before about uh, this because uh, otherwise it uh, is uh, really very useless to speak about tactics. Uh, we can speak about tactics only if uh, we are the same level of determination and application, otherwise uh, it's useless. Okay. We have to change also tactics, I think. Well, Jorginho had a difficult game, so to speak. 
Oh, but uh, they played uh, uh, with an offensive midfielders behind two strikers. And so, of course, uh, I think that in that match we needed uh, to, to play more uh, outside than uh, inside because the spaces uh, were outside. And uh, we, we, we understood uh, uh, this uh, later in the match. OK, last question, Matt. Maurizio, there's been a lot of focus on the supporters with Tottenham and Chelsea recently. How important is it that everyone is on their best behaviour? Well, I think that we need uh, this, uh, the support of uh, uh, our friends, of course. But uh, we would like to 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 have uh, their support for us, not against uh, the opponents.